and welcome to x-ray review in this video we're going to go through common artifacts on x-ray that may be confused with pathology here are multiple radiographic examples of where clothing artifacts can not only be distracting but confused for pathology what looks like multiple pulmonary lesions in this case is just overlying clothing artifacts clothing artifacts are not only unprofessional but they can also obscure overlying anatomy. So it's always best to remove clothing artifacts when possible. Sometimes clothing artifacts are unnoticed until after the x-ray is taken, like in this case with bedazzled underwear. So don't forget to keep your eye out for clothing artifacts. Here is a frontal and lateral view of the lumbar spine. And you should notice multiple small metallic densities scattered throughout the soft tissues. So when we zoom in, you'll notice that the small metallic densities are within the subcutaneous soft tissues, and these represent acupuncture needles. Some forms of acupuncture specifically break the needle off and it's left within the skin and seen on x-ray. When we zoom back out, you can see just how many there are scattered throughout the soft tissues. The round cystic objects seen in these images represent calcified breast implants. These types of capsular calcifications can be seen in approximately 25% of breast implants. And the incidence increases with the age of the implants. These are radiographic examples of hair artifacts, which are commonly mistaken as pathology. In the absence of clinical information or perpendicular views, it may be easy to confuse this ponytail with a soft tissue mass. So it's very important to be aware of the possibility of a hair artifact and how that artifact may impact the ability of the viewer to clearly evaluate the underlying anatomy. So don't be confused by a hair artifact. In this example, you should see multiple small metallic densities seen scattered throughout the soft tissues of the patient's right side. And these represent residual shotgun pellets from a previous shotgun injury. This larger metallic fragment seen embedded in the proximal tibia represents a previous gunshot wound. With gunshot wounds, you'll usually see more disorganized metallic fragments, and sometimes even an angle of trajectory of those fragments. One of the more commonly seen artifacts in the pelvic basin is that of a full bladder. A full bladder on x-ray may appear as a large mass within the pelvic basin, and this is just a normal full bladder and not to be confused with a pelvic tumor. So don't forget a full bladder can appear as a round dense mass within the pelvic basin. This is a commonly seen artifact on x-ray where there is a large amount of dense material within the expected area of the large intestines. And this represents residual contrast from a previous contrast examination of the gastrointestinal tract. So while this finding may look alarming the first few times you see it, it by itself does not represent pathology, but how that contrast fills within the gastrointestinal tract may be indicative of a particular diagnosis. So one of the most commonly seen artifacts in the rib region is normal physiologic costochondral calcification of the ribs. And that's what looks like all this chunky calcification at the distal aspect of those anterior ribs. The presence of this costochondral calcification is not clinically significant. However, it may obscure underlying abdominal soft tissue calcifications. So always keep your eye out for costochondral calcification that follows that normal orientation of the ribs and not to confuse that with pathology. 
And thank you very much for listening. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And thank you again.